एक्स्ट्रा टाइम वेलकम टू द प्री मैच प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ जमशेदपुर एफ सी वर्सेज ए टी के मोहन बगान वी हैव आर हेड कोच मिस्टर ओवन कॉल यू विद अस फर्स्ट कोच फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कोच इज द मैच अगेंस्ट ए टी के मोहन बगान द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज फॉर जमशेदपुर एफ सी सोफा नो एवरी गेम इज अ चैलेंज द लीक इज शो दैट एवरी गेम इज इज वेरी टाइट बिटवीन दिशन मोहन बगान ऑफ ए टी के मोहन बगान स्टार्टिंग वेल इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉइंट रिटर्न एंड ऑफ Achieve some good results. We've been very close games, so uh, we're looking forward to the game. Good opposition, good team, good coach, and that's what we like. You know, we've shown in our recent performances that we can stand toe to toe. What we want to do is be turning our draws into wins and getting those three points. Because obviously that moves you up the table. So that's always the focus. But I think we've shown a lot of really good signs in the games that we've played already. Uh, we haven't had a victory so far this season. Uh, how will you go into this uh, match? The same way we do every match, been very positive. Uh, I think when you look at our games and our play, we could easily be sitting there with five, six, seven points from the games. Certainly, Adisha very comfortable, like two nothing up, and huge turning point as we know. Even from that point there, we should still have seen the game out. So there were certainly points there that we feel dropped. Uh, the Hyderabad game, obviously, very, very strong in the second half. Scored a, a very good goal that's that's disallowed, but we keep going because the spirit, and the quality, lads have got. Get a great equaliser, and then equally the, the skipper has a chance to win at the end. So there's been a lot of positive signs from that. Really good group of boys, work hard every day, uh, good characters, good quality, and the more. Right, so, uh, coach, it's not uh, that the team isn't playing well. So, what is it that the uh, club is lacking? In the yeah, I think uh, one, uh, with everything that every, our coach always creates a lot about a lot. But I think it's the consistency to put the whole performance together. There's certainly areas that we need to work on. We've shown that we can score goals. I think we have to make sure that we're more solidified against the ball and not give up the uh, chances that's, that's led to some goals against us. But when you put it all together, I've shown, if you think about the first half against Adisha, outstanding, second half against Hyderabad, same again. But we have to put that together for the whole match. So it's a young team, it's a team that's growing, a team that's developing well. And that's the important thing, that we continue to grow, continue to develop. It's not about you all being... Uh, being Winning your three first three matches been outstanding. We would have loved that. Everybody would love to have that start, but it's a process. It's put you know building blocks in place. I mean, this club have obviously never achieved those playoff spots. They did a good start last year and then totally petered away to nothing. So it's about making sure that we get stronger as we go and we build momentum. And when you build momentum, then you can go and achieve those results, those points, and you fly up the table where you need to be. From my own experience, uh, that's been shown, and that's what we'll do. We'll put those building blocks in place. And as this group work together, once we get you know people back healthy as well, then we'll get far better options in respect of uh, uh, positional changes and such forth. So uh, I think there's been a lot of pleasing things in the performance. There's areas that we need to work on. I think we all know that. But moving forward, I think it's a positive in respect of you know, we know we can go and achieve those valuable three points. Uh, next question is uh, against H- uh, Hyderabad uh, in the first half, especially. Uh, the team was a little bit scattered and not passing well. Uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think I think that's fair comment. And we did not we did not pass the ball well enough in the first half against Hyderabad, uh, and we've shown that we can pass. So ultimately, that comes down to when when the players are on the field, as we all do, take accountability, take responsibility for your actions in respect of passing the ball, and that's an area that obviously we have to, as I say, when we bring it all together. Because if you look at the passing and the the intensity in the second half, it was obviously so much better than the first. So players have got to realise, you know, you can't just do it for one half, it's got to be a consistent level for the duration of the matches, whether that's 94, 95 minutes, and, uh, and I think that's uh, that's fair. We did not pass them all well enough, and that's something we work on every day. So the players, when they cross that white line, have to take that focus and make sure we're moving the ball well enough. Because when you do that, that creates chances, and it's very pleasing on the eye. And, oh... Uh in the uh, pr- past few matches, uh, we have been uh, talking a lot about uh, refereeing mistakes. So, uh, uh, so are we blaming the referees a bit too much, or no? Yeah. It's not. It's not about blaming referees too much. I think it's obviously just stating the facts of what happened. <laughs> for example, you know, and, and, you know, uh, ultimately, there's accountability, there's responsibility for performing well. And I mentioned earlier that we want to bring that consistently. But if you have a team, of, as we have, a group of boys that every day are working their socks off in the training ground and then decisions are you know changing the course of some of the matches. And if you look at them, the spirit they have, you know, they came back against Hyderabad after scoring a perfectly good goal. The referee gave the goal and then somewhat bizarrely 
chopped the goal off. Now a lot of teams at that point would have felt sorry for themselves. That's not the case with this group. They pick themselves up again, they score a great equaliser and actually probably had a great chance to win the game. So, uh, but ultimately everybody could see what happened. You know, Adisha, uh, when we were awarded the penalty, Adisha should have been to 10 men because the boy clearly stopped uh, the ball going into the net, as it was he was it, and then we suffer a red card with Rennes. So when all said and done, there's going to be bad decisions. You know, you always hope that they even themselves out, but knowing as I do my experience in football, that's never the case. It, you know, it's an old football myth that it evens itself out over the course of the season. It doesn't. So we've been severely hampered by that. That being said, you know, nobody's used that as an excuse. We've come out and said, listen, factually that's what happened, but we still have to make sure that we see those teams through, or as difficult as it is, we pick ourselves up and we will again. And these players have shown that, they've shown tremendous spirit, terrific group to work with. I've got to say, you know, as, as footballs and, you know, as, as, as human beings, really, really nice men. And, uh, and of course, the other thing is, every day they come to work hard to wear that jersey with pride, and that's what we we'll continue to do. Uh, a little update, uh, updates on the uh, on the team and the injuries. Yeah, of course, it's been very challenging in terms of the injury front. If you think from the uh, from the outset, David Grandi's not been available. Uh, Joiner not been available. Narendra Gallo managed to come into the game and obviously went out injured as well, so he's been unavailable. Nick Fitzgerald came on in the first game, got a real heavy bang on his knee, and that's limited him. Uh, Alex Lima has been the same since the first game, uh, so but continuing to put himself out there. So obviously we'd love to have the boys at full health because it gives us good quality players to choose from both foreigners and domestic lads. And, uh, uh, but as it is just now, you know, the ones aforementioned, Davi Grande, uh, Joyner, Narendra, they, they're definitely all out of the game. Nick Fitzgerald is a huge doubt. Uh, and Alex Lima is probably 50-50. So uh, we do have injuries, we do have concerns. Uh, but so the most teams with the short pre-season, it's probably not helped in that respect, but it's something you just got to go in with it, and that's what we do. We concentrate the focus on the ones that are available to us, because those boys are working their socks off. And I'm not just talking about the boys in the field, we've got some terrific professionals who are helping the young kids, because we do have a very young squad, which is good as well, because that continues their development, and they'll grow and mature, and they'll turn into good footballs. Uh, one question on Alex Lima, uh, he's, uh, he was brought in with the high expectations, but he's not been up to the mark. Uh, so your thoughts on that? Well, I think uh, we don't start picking on about individuals who's playing well, who's not playing well, because uh, in Alex Lindner's case, he's not been uh, at full health for any of the games, but he's wanted to put himself out there because of the other injuries that we have. Uh, so that's something obviously we've looked at. Alex is a wonderful player. He'll show he's a wonderful player, but that's the important thing is trying to get him uh, to full health, and uh, and that's what we'll do. Uh, is the team a little bit uh, too dependent on uh, when Vasquez is playing well? Is the team too dependent when? No. No. Okay. Uh, you know, has scored his goals because of the, the, the play from the from the his teammates. It's a team game. It's not about individuals. So, I mean, I don't know who asked the question or if they understand how football works. But you know, if you think of Vasquez's goals. Valsic scored the goal because Jackie Chan, the first one, put a great ball in for Valsic to go on the header. So, in terms of the team relying on, on Valsic playing well, we know we brought Valsic to, to the club for a reason. Because if you provide the, uh, the service and the, the ammunition, then Valsic can finish these moves off. And Valsic's goals have been because of his teammates. And that's what it takes. It takes teammates, everybody, to, uh, to play their part. And, and that's what we do. And I think it was Stephen Easy that scored the one out to my memory, so... And uh, final two questions. Uh, what is the mood like in the players' camp at the moment? The mood's always the same. We have a, a vibrant and energetic group. Uh, obviously, we've had a couple of draws lately that we feel could have been wins, but we know we're heading in the right direction. You know, as I said before, there was always coming into Jim Shetland. The reason it came was always going to be a big, big challenge. I think the club had won one of the last 13 games. Uh, so as well as the, the, the reasonable start last year, I think when I came to play with Judge Chip in my first game against them, they were in the top four. And then obviously, you know, it ended up obviously not going to plan. The important thing is not how you start in this league. Of course, everybody wants a flying start. It's how you finish. I showed last year, I think I was bottom of the league after 10 games. I came in my first four games, we took four points from four games, been down in the bottom of the league. But the important thing is that you gain momentum, you continue to get better, continue to grow, develop, which we'll do with the group of boys we've got, I mean the spirit we've got, uh, and this I'm not even talking about the boys that play, I'm talking about the ones that are out with that play, I mean, 
Karan, for example, is a tremendous example of how you are as a professional. Trains so hard every day, he knows he's fighting Dinliana for a starting spot, but he's training so well that he's pushing Dinliana every day in training. And round about the place with the other players, boys like that, they're invaluable. They're out with being very good uh, footballers, they're very good human beings, and that's also something we're trying to develop in the club. So we have a very good spirit, and that's all credit to the players that we have. Uh, one final question. So, uh, ATK Bagan have uh, quite a strong forward lineup like Roy Krishna, David Williams. Uh, how do you intend to stop them? Yeah, the same as everybody else with obviously good defending. And all credit to, to ATK Mohan Bagan and Mumbai and boys like that with, with huge budgets. And you know, all credit to them. Brought very good players uh, to their clubs. But so have we. And we've got good boys at the back. And, and Peter Hartley showing that. And Stephen Easy. So, like any challenge, you know, every game you play in this league, it's a new challenge. So we're very respectful of everybody we play, the opposition, but we don't fear anybody. We know that we have to concentrate on our game plan, get out, play the way we want to play. And as we've shown for periods, you know, obviously we want the whole duration of the match, but we're certainly showing that we can go and cause teams problems. And that's what we want to do against ATK Mohan Bagan. Latest news and exclusive video from the update, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bell icon click on the bell icon.